Hello, welcome to a creased version of Culture Hash. So, as always on this channel, we like to promote UK artists. So, please subscribe if you're interested in learning more about some of these like undergroundy people in the UK. Sometimes we talk about pop on here, you know, music. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the new EP from SG Lewis, Dawn. So let me tell you something interesting about this EP. It's actually the third part of S.G. Lewis's debut album. Over the last year or so, S.G. Lewis has released this album in three installments, each an EP of about six to seven tracks in length, each with a different theme. Each of these parts represents the different phase of a Larry night out at a nightclub. Each of these EPs is electro, but S.G. Lewis takes this sound in different directions for each installment of this debut album. We started off with Dusk, which was upbeat, Larry, had great songs like Coming Up. This was inspired by disco, funk, and had a smooth, danceable groove to many of the tracks. And I just love the grooves on Dusk, which represented that pre-drinking, early stage of the night. Dark was a bit heavier and somber, but it represented the absolute peak of the night out. And then we reached the final installment, Dawn, representing that time when the night's over, the sun's come out, everyone needs to come home. And as such, there's a warmer, fuzzier pop sound than we'd heard on the first two installments of this project. Since the release of Dusk, SG Lewis has become more prominent. And it suggests to me that this more pop orientated sound could be due to SG Lewis's new level of profile. At this point of his career, SG Lewis has worked with the likes of Kyle, g Easy, and Aluda George. Dawn's production is a touch more flashy than we've heard from S.G. Lewis in the past. This can be seen in the lead single, Throw Away, featuring fellow rising star, Claro. Claro's vocal cadence and the general vibe of the lyrics feel like a poor man's version of On and Off by Maggie Rogers. The production is minimal pop and she's got some interesting effects on her vocals to give it an ethereal, dreamlike quality. But Throw Away just feels like generic electro pop. It's enjoyable, but it doesn't really do anything too exciting. And that's just generally how I feel about Dawn as an EP. I enjoyed it, but within the confines of electropop, this doesn't do anything too interesting or new. SG Lewis has lost some of the colourful experimentation that made Dusk and Dark such compelling EPs. Dawn as a project doesn't do anything to establish SG Lewis outside of the crowded electropop genre. Standout moments on this project include the janky percussion on Overdose. It's got nice vocals from Hone, a duo that we haven't heard too much from recently. The opener, Blue, is the standout on this project. Blue feels like it takes inspiration from Vaporwave, especially the whistling synth loop. It feels like something out of a Home album. Blue captures this EP's ethos perfectly, especially the second half where the tempo downshifts and takes things in a moody, sulkier direction. It almost feels like those late nights when the sun comes up and everyone's mood just goes down a little bit as they come to terms with going back to reality. For the most part, Dawn is an enjoyable EP. Six tracks long, runs to about 20 minutes. I thought it was clever how SG Lewis fit this project into the trilogy of EPs he's released. He sticks to the theme really well. However, my issue is that it's too safe and fits too neatly within what everyone else is doing within the electro pop genre. There are nice ideas on here, like the moody bass line on Flames, but for the most part, these good ideas are overshadowed by S.G. Lewis's reliance on electro pop cliches. I enjoyed this project, but it's good rather than great. So for me, S.G. Lewis Dawn is worthy of six out of 10.